Hello and welcome to the very final episode of Season 1 for my F122 Driver Career Mode 4. I'll be here today for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The last time we were here some very dodgy stuff went down in terms of real life, but in the game things are less hot in the standings in the Drivers Championship that got wrapped up a long while ago. Let's get into the final race where we are starting P14. Welcome to the AS Marina circuit for the finale of another thrilling Formula One season. It's been a breathtaking year and we end it at a track that has been the scene of many glories and heartbreaks over its history. It's time to end the season in style. It's time for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The AS Marina circuit is made up of 3.4 miles of track featuring 21 corners with two very long straights. DRS zones going into the heavy braking zones of both Turn 8 and Turn 11 offer plenty of potential for overtaking. And the circuit comes with its fair share of tricky corners as well, in particular Turns 15, 16 and 17, which will certainly test a driver's braking management. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, and starting next to them is George Russell. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Sainz, Perez, Sir Lewis Hamilton, they've taken a grid penalty, and Bottas, Verstappen, Gasly, Ricardo, and Sebastian Vettel. Norris, Mick Schumacher, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Fernando Alonso, Brown, Joe, Stroll, they've taken a grid penalty. Alex Albon and Yuki Tsunoda. Magnussen and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you here with us today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. Bit of a sad one this one, because Bottas announced retirement back in Mexico and Vettel back in Monza. Okay, so, there, sure final races for them the race and a final race for season one. And let's get into it then. It's Mercedes, V Ferrari on the front row, like it was in Brazil, and it slides out, and away we go. And George has been beaten off the line, then it's a good start by the Ferrari into turn one. As now we send it from P14, I think we're gained a couple of positions there. Now, side by side with the McLarens. And now we're on the outside of, of the McLaren of Lando Norris. Have we got Lando maybe into the inf infamous first new change? Hair been gone. It's a very, very odd corner for me now. It just feels like you're miles away from the apex when you break but we haven't got the job done on Lando just yet but we are hopefully now as we swoop around the outside into the chicane and we've got the avatar of Gasly there as well and now we're on the back of Daniel Ricciardo it's behind us this is Magnussen and Lando going at it <laughs> side by side into the hotel section who's ahead Neither they're both side by side. Schumacher has the inside line. Lando not giving up. Into the final two corners. And it's eventually Mick who has to who runs wide. And now has he lost down to the Alphatari? Yes he has. Possibly no. No Gasly can get the job done. Now they this is Ricardo. V Retiring Sebastian Vettel and we are just setting ourselves up ready for any scraps and that could come our way. And now side by side they go. And now we have got a good sleep stream and using the battery that we have. And now we're going to try and make it free wide. 
down the inside into the new hairpin and we get past Ricardo and Vettel and that's one of the best moves of, the, of this season as now Ricardo and Vettel going at him Ricardo is coming back for round two after not getting the job done the first time on Vettel and side by side Vettel stays ahead again Ricardo can't find a way through he may be retiring Vettel but he's not done yet it's down the inside he goes and re overtakes us there and now we're going to have to wait wait again here as we're on the back wait for the gap and to the outside we try to go round the outside offset Vettel all the way round the outside and we get the job done and re overtake Sebastian Vettel there and now yet again we just couldn't break the DRS it's so so hard I found it in these last few races trying to race the AI down the straights as there is that's Lando Norris he's found a way through his teammate and Sebastian Vettel and now he's got the job done on us and now we're going to try and do what we did to Vettel and now we go around the outside of Lando Norris again but we've ran wide we've ran so so wide and we've nearly lost out to Ricardo there as Mick Schumacher <laughs> tries to slip through on Vettel and he doesn't Ricardo's locked up there and Schumacher's got Ricardo as well and in all that we've somehow kept the position we still lost up to Lando but we've somehow kept everyone else behind us here Mick Schumacher on our outside squeezes us right to the apex I was not having that so we gave him a cheeky little push off the track and he's on miles back there's now Vettel again coming at us Vettel has DRS but he leaves defends that inside line so we are going to try and send it round the outside and we hit the curb we go bounce over here comes Vettel again though he is not giving up he wants at some points on his final race it's through the chicane this time he does get the job done on us unfortunately it's now through the first couple of corners we go again and we've gone wide we've had some massive oversteer moment there and this is the Alfa Tauri of Gasly on our outside we push him wide but now we're going to be left defending Vettel we don't need to worry about him at this point he has bolted as now there is Gasly on our outside and Mr Alonso on our inside down the inside goes Fernando Fernando goes through that's actually worked out because he was a quick Alpine but fortunately we have lost in our position and now it's up outside with Danny Rick and we have to back out of that when we can hold it around the outside the tyres were starting to drop off at this point and fortunately we have fallen outside the points he's on the back of us again Gasly this time he seems a bit too far back but we were just staying in touch with Ricardo just inside his DRS but could get nowhere near him and I must have missed it but we did lose out to Pierre Gasly and nearly at the back of Gasly and nearly clipped the pit wall as we make our one and only stop of the Grand Prix coming down the pit lane now I've finally got used the time in it onto the hard tyres it's a beautiful pit stop by the lads and now under the very very unique pit exit under the track try not to put it in the wall with car tyres and now out of the track and we have jumped Gasly 
in the pits as well there. And up ahead, you can see we're still in touch with Ricardo, but behind us, as we relieved some pressure, as Pierre Casley retires from the Grand Prix. Unfortunately, we lost out to Ricardo and Mick Schumacher now. It's on the back of us and how this season has come full circle. We started this season battling Mick Schumacher and we're ending it battling Mick Schumacher. He's there on our outside. We squeeze him but he's not backing down like he did with Lando and he squeezes us back. When he squeezed us at the hairpin, I wasn't happy. I squeezed him back, but he's come back. He hasn't forgotten about that. And fair play, he squeezes me out. And now, we try and get back past him to the inside of turn one. But we have to do some rock climbing over the curb there. As I headed down into the chicane, the first chicane. Couldn't get close enough and I kind of regret doing that half move now into turn one because it was so hard to get close as this is a real chance down the inside. But we lock up run wide and make sure you make it back through and we nearly beat you on the cup again there. But after that as we send it to the inside at the chicane again, I was going to elbows out everything. I possibly had in this race is now we run a little bit wide here comes Mick Schumacher again and Mick Schumacher this time just get the job done can we stick with him though and the answer was yes but also no because we had to we were keeping with Mick Schumacher just be right Ricardo earlier on the Grand Prix could not get close to him to have another go after that but here comes Lance Stroll down our inside we are going to hold it round the outside as you can see there in the top left George Russell has won his first Grand Prix of ever for him and side by side now with Lance Stroll and we've been done to the inside through goes Joe Guan Yu and we've lost out to both of them and we've nearly dropped it there big wheel spin they're side by side, look at the launch them two have got them with nearly from ploughing straight to the back of the Alfa Romeo who has gained two places on the final lap here and for the final time for season one we cross the line for a poor P16 It's been a roller coaster season then, but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everyone played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So, that's been your season one basically, 
George Russell get in his first win. But pretty annoying race if you're wondering why the replay camera stopped. It was because the game decided to crash and wouldn't let me do the replay. So in the background you can see now this is the real result of the Grand Prix. Unfortunately, Bottas and Vettel both drop out the points for that final Grand Prix. And George Russell is denied of his first Grand Prix win. Unfortunately for him, he just gets so much bad luck that lap does. But we finished just behind Alonso and better the rest. Bottas couldn't cling on, but you know what? We finished best of the rest in the constructors. I think we can recall that a very successful first season in the career mode. And now we turn our attentions to what happens next year. Here's all of the results. Ignore Brazil, we're not counting that win if you'd watched the last video. But yeah, that's, that's, that's the season, that's season one ticked off in the history books. But, these are all the results. But, I need to go and think about what I'm going to do next season. Am I going to stay at Alpine? Am I going to look elsewhere? To be honest, Alpine has been a good home to us. But the amounts of penalties and engine failures, we could have potentially beaten Fernando on points this season. But I'll leave you guessing, and I'll see you when we kick off season two. Goodbye.